Pay. All right, I'm gonna do that. It's right. <laughs> cut, 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 yes, cut. Hey. Oh, this is all going in. Freaking fantastic. <laughs> he didn't even get to, he said, hey, oh, never mind. I'm, I'm like, I'm gonna restart that. Last time on the sweet spot. I mean, what's your favorite DC movie of all time? The theatrical cut of Justice League? Who is that hot piece of ass? But I'm here in Arlington at Retro Madness. Hell yeah! Hey, what is up, Internet? Kyle here, Slapshot Toys. So the first thing I did pick up, as you guys saw in the video, is the Mandarin Spawn. My amazing wife picked up pretty much my grail. It is the Ultimate Collector Series Star Destroyer. Welcome, Mike. Yeah. What is going on, guys? So we are here at the North Dallas Toy Show. Holy crap! This is happening. What's going on, everybody? It's Josh. This is what I ended up buying. I love you guys. Thank you for the support. Oh my god! I can't end this video. I don't know what to say. What do I say? See you soon, muchacho. Hey, what is up internet? Kyle here, Slapshot Toys. We actually have a full car load today. So we have our homie, Josh Bentz, Karina. Hi. Josh's fiance. Hi. The wife for the first time ever in one of my videos. <laughs> oh my uh, this is monumental. <laughs> this is right? It really is. But uh, so today was supposed to be a little toy show day. Uh, unfortunately, Josh and I kind of looked at the postings that the toy show had and we just kind of felt like it wasn't worth the drive. Nope. But we were already all planning on hanging out anyway. So that's what we're gonna take you on our little adventure today. Yes. So this video is gonna be a lot more of a vlog more than actual toy stuff. I think we may hit up comics to games. Yes. But uh, this is gonna be more of us just hanging out. You guys can kind of see. Fine. Yeah. We're about to go do what? Duck duck hunting? No. <laughs> duck pin <laughs> bowling. Duck pin bowling. That's what we're uh, So do. we're sitting outside of Hoppin' Vines. It is in Kenwood, Ohio, or just outside of Cincinnati. So um, we're gonna go there, have some awesome pizza, and mm -hmm. then get some beers, yeah, and do some duck pin bowling. So yeah. we'll show you what's going on there. Next clip. Right. I absolutely love out this place. 40 beers on tap. Oh. <laughs> Stupid. He's cheating. So stop two, we are in Covington, Kentucky. <laughs> it is raining currently. Yeah. The city girls are underneath the umbrella. <laughs> but uh, we are going to Braxton Brewing, which is a local favorite of mine. Well, we're not duck hunting here. We're not duck hunting. This is just beer. So just beer. Uh, we'll take you guys inside. The caramel peach gobbler, yeah. All right, I'm gonna show you guys the beers that we got. Wait, so I went super, 
fruity of this one. So this is their smoothie series. It's pretty much just a fruit cocktail, but it's uh, freaking fantastic. Bahama Mama, pineapple pomegranate in it, orange and coconut. Josh was just went straight blue raspberry. The wife went with a, uh, what was it, caramel, caramel peach cobbler. cobbler. And then Karina went with the uh, traditional IPA yeah. Tropic Flare. All right, so Amazing. we're on round two. Josh got the smoothie Caribbean Breeze. Because the, the berry the wife said got it was a mix of like blueberries. Pineapple blueberries. Mai Tai. Yeah, that's what I want. I got a Grater's Caramel Macchiato style, which is like a coffee thing, which is phenomenal. And then like Karina got the uh, peach cobbler with caramel. So, however, Josh yep. then decided Get them all. that he wants to try every single smoothie that they have. All right, guys, so we just love Braxton. You kind of see their sign right there. This is the haul portion. So Josh, as you can see here, bought all the smoothies. I did. I bought the macchiato. All I know is I spent like $180. That's all I know. Caramel stout. <laughs> and it was delicious. Yeah, it's cheaper than a hot toy. That's true. I mean, buy like what? Really 40 yeah, bucks? Yeah, yeah. It, yeah. It was some memories like that. Right, exactly. We're all just hanging out. Great. And this is kind of heavy. <laughs> <laughs> Josh is getting his first experience of carrying a case of beer. Because yeah, it's raining. Well, out of Warped Wing, I bought three. Oh, like, that's right. Like you did. Six or something that's true. Packs. I don't know. He did because he got the same like cardboard yeah. sleeve. But uh, now is the part where you're probably gonna care actually about this video. Uh, we're gonna go to Comics of Games, show you what they have. Uh, well, yeah, uh, that really. Okay, okay. Internet is that the woods? I don't think it is. That is that is a a three foot patch of grass. That's all it is. Uh, that's fine. Off roading is a acceptable term. The woods, no. We're gonna see it comics again. All right, so I don't know anything about GI Joe, but here are some statues. It looks like, and then some maybe figures. These are pretty big boxes, and I know these. These are the declassified. That's what everyone's looking for now. Some Star Wars Black Series on card. Right through here. Again, some more Black Series. Right through there. I'm gonna try to slowly pan over these so you can see everything that they have. So up here we have some Transformers, some Diamond Select statues, some Mezcos, we have Pennywise, Cyclops, Hellboy, Captain Marvel, Hellboy, Wolverine, Knockman, Planet of the Apes, Catwoman, a couple others down there, some Diamond Select Star Trek, Player of Sky, Superman, some Kingdom Hearts, some Transformers, got the Mesco Ghostbuster set, and just some random Transformers and Diamond Select up throughout here. So let's kind of give you guys again just a quick scan. Over here, some Power Rangers, some Savage World horror figures. And then some anime stuff, some Dragon Ball Z, some Harry Potter figures right here. And then coming out here, some NECA, so we have some Borderlands 3, the Toonie Terrors, which I think since you just got the Beetle Face, or Beetle, Beetle Face, Beetle Juice of those. Road to My Hero Academia, some other. This thing is, I feel like that would be all about what's popping Seth. I feel like he needs that Twilight Zone doll. <laughs> Cyberpunk, Nightmare on Elm Street. Again, some NECA horror stuff. And down at the bottom, Dragon Ball Z, God of War, Tales from Space. Ooh, some spot. Ooh, they actually have the red version. I just have the blue version. Hmm. That's kind of cool. I bet I'd pick that up. Got some It figures, some of the Living Dead dolls. Out there, and then coming down here, King Kong, Godzilla, Gremlins, and just some more NECA stuff. I think since he just got this in one of his last videos, the Inspector Gadget, that looks pretty cool. Some Back to the Future, some, yeah, quite a bit throughout here. DC wise, they have most of the McFarlane stuff, as you can see throughout here. They have most of the Bane Wave, 
if not all of the Ben Wave. I kind of like to get this Robin. I think that looked kind of cool in my collection. Um, some of the Superman, some of the old figures. Kind of went through here. Again, just more McFarlane. It looks like we're moving into the DC Direct down here. Some of the animated series, some of the Mattel multiverse stuff. Mix of Mattel and McFarlane right there. It's like some of the old Arkham DC Direct figures from the various video games. Some Spider Man carded figures right through here. And over here. Got some more X-Men carded figures and then your legends again just gonna kind of do a quick little scan over them not gonna dig or anything but you can at least see that they have most of the newer waves I'm not up on my Marvel Legends because it's not something I really collect but it seems like they have a freaking fantastic selection of just about anything of the newer series and some Stranger Things figures right down there. Some DC animated series from DC Direct. Some Bucky O'Hare. These are the, I forget what the Covenant makes these, but I know Craig's really been into those. Those look freaking fantastic. Quite a view them up there. And then, that's kind of cool. It's almost like a DC Direct, like, kind of like anime style. Batman, I haven't seen that before. What is this? Beware of the Arkham Asylum. Oh, it's like a figure pack. So we got Penguin, Joker, Killer Croc, Batman. Hmm, that's kind of cool. So then some carded figures throughout here. So, yeah. Then right through here, here's their kind of, I guess, like collector's case. Some higher dollar items. There. Not gonna dig through it, but here, kind of like they have a huge pop section and board game section. Right through here, some turtle stuff and Master of the Universe. All throughout here. Some of the Super 7 figures. Right through there. So they're also a full comic store. So you can see they have all the new issues all throughout those racks. And then back here, they have all the trades. So pretty much any comic you can imagine, they're gonna have. So as far as six scale, they have Breakfast at Tiffany's, a Mando Catwoman, got a quarter scale Mark III, Dem Select Hulk, Iron Man, War Machine, and then a bunch of trades all throughout here. And then for statues, they have some busts for Vader, Boba Fett, I'm not exactly for sure who that is, Hordak from Tweeterhead. They have some of the Iron Studios figures and then the Prime One Flash. And then some of the Sideshow figures and Tweeterhead throughout here. As always, here's their bus, so the Joker, Wolverine, Terminator, Deadpool, Venom, Batman, Superman. Also, it's kind of cool if you look at this Deadpool bust. They actually have like the Meat cuts. <laughs> that's kind of cool. I feel like that's very Deadpool esque. As far as hot toys, they have the heavy infantry Mandalorian, Stanley from Thor Ragnarok. It's like they have Star Lord from Guardians of the Galaxy, some Star Wars Princess Leia, and Center Trooper, Spider Man from the video game. I think that's like the advanced suit or armory suit. Captain Marvel, oh, oh. Han, Wicket, like, Iron yeah. Spider from the video game, it's War Machine, so it's very the Red Stormtrooper, yeah. let's see, that is the Jet Trooper, Wasp, and man another Captain Marvel, Luke, another Stormtrooper, and then some Sideshow, Luke Cage, Flash, Luke. And here's just a quick little view of their statues, some DC black and white. A lot of marble. Sure, we can go, like, take a set and we'll build some, some awesome. pretty cool Should looking stuff throughout here. Yeah. Then some sideshow premium format down here. That freaking dark small. <laughs> that looks freaking awesome. Such a cool set. Actually, this carnage looks pretty cool as well. <laughs> All right. What'd you buy?
Uh, oh, that's right. You got the Mad-Eye Mad Moody. Yeah. Spoiler for yeah. Josh's video. No. <laughs> <laughs> but here's the, uh, this case. Kind of hard to see with the eagle air. But uh, so Black Panther, G.I. Joe. Got the Tweeterhead Robins. Some animated series. Okay. Cobra Kai. Something that was here that I actually just bought. Or I'm going to buy. Cobra. Or G.I. Joe. Sorry. And the Aquaman. Princess Leia. Black Widow. Foster Johnson. Some X Men statues. Yeah, she did. Would you, would you actually stick down there? Uh, Alright, so one of the cool things about Comics the Games is they do have a huge room of pinball, as you can see here, that you can play. And then Karina and the wife are both enjoying their pinball game. And as I literally film the wife, she <laughs> loses her ball down the middle. What are you playing? She, Karina's playing Monster Bash. The wife's playing Willy Wonka. I tried that one. That was hard. That one, I, so we, there's a place in Hamilton that uh, is all pinball and I suck at the Willy Wonka. <laughs> Apparently, and I've just been pressing start on some and they stop they work. working. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the original Stanley. Oh, it's signed by Stanley. So they have the Stan, like the original, like Stanley hot toy signed by Stanley up there. Wow. That's crazy. Yeah. But uh, yeah, ton of cool pinball Batman 66, X Men, Deadpool, Simpsons, Shrek, Star Wars. That's crazy. Oh, Signed that's kind of cool. Hamill, Harrison Ford. How have we missed Jeremy this room? I, I have no idea. Oh, man, look at this. Freaking a Gremlins poster signed by all the actors. And as you guys know, you guys can see my tattoo. I'm just a bit of a Gremlins fan. I have Gizmo up higher. Back to the Future. Michael J. Fox, ready? E.T. signed poster. And then, yeah, how have we missed this room so many times? I don't know. All right, so I don't know what's going on, but at Chick-fil-A, these people like literally have their own like personal weather tents, tents, weather tents. That's <laughs> what they're taking orders in. Um, oh, the pod. I really don't want to like, I want to film this group. Yeah, I don't think they're paying attention. Why did you drive me. by? No, but yeah. Yeah, we're good. We're good. <laughs> this is the craziest thing I've ever seen. Like literally, if you can see right there, the guy's in a freaking pod. Pod. It's a walking pod. I feel like that would come in. As I like, said, under the weather. You can do activities there and is. still be dry. Lots of activities. Yeah. They're all back there. So obviously we are back home and what a freaking phenomenal time it was getting to hang out with Josh and Karina. That is definitely one of the wife and I's favorite things to do is when they come down, we get to take them around Cincinnati, show them a lot of stuff and usually hit up a couple toy stores. So huge thank you to them for hanging out with us and hopefully you all enjoyed the footage. It was a lot of fun to put together. But now it's time to show you what I picked up from Comics to Games. And actually both of these items weren't in the video because I went ahead and actually had them pack them up for me before I started filming. But the first thing that I picked up was to add to my Batman 1-6 scale collection and it is the Sideshow 1-6 scale Joker. Now this is the new version that they released, I think sometime last year. I kept eyeballing it every time I went to Comics and Games, but it just recently sold out on Sideshow site, so I figured I'd better pull the trigger if I really wanted it. So super happy to pick this up. If we go ahead and show you just a quick little look, that amazing looking Joker sculpt. The clothing just looks phenomenal. He comes with a ton of accessories that are actually behind this black little tray right there. But super cool piece, super excited to have it in my collection. And the next piece that I picked up from Comics and Games actually adds to my statue collection. And I picked up the Tweeter Head 1 6 scale. I can lift it here. The Dark Knight Returns Batman. So you can see there the statue on the box. This is something, again, that I've been looking at quite a bit. I have quite a few other Tweeter Head statues that I absolutely love. And it's such an iconic kind of version of Batman. And the statue looks so incredibly cool. Had to pick it up. Now this is the regular version. There is like this muddied deluxe edition. I like the screaming head sculpt, but I personally don't like all the mud on the suit. And he actually doesn't come with the cool base of the bat signal. So I don't know, I kind of like this one a little bit better, but there are two different ones, but this is just the regular. So I'm gonna go ahead, open this up, and I'll show you a closer look right now. And I just wanted to put this clip in as well. As you can see, I'm kind of unboxing the statue right here. And I just found out that this was limited to a thousand pieces and pretty cool. I got piece 37 out of a thousand. It's kind of cool to get a low number like that. And here we have our Dark Knight statue assembled. 
And first and foremost, I just love what Tweeterhead has been putting out. All the statues I have from them are freaking phenomenal, and this one is absolutely no exception. Just take a look at that head sculpt. It looks unbelievable with like all the scarring there on the mouth, chin, and cheeks. And just the suit and all the little details just look amazing. I mean, this literally looks like it jumped off a Frank Miller sketch page. This is just such a cool freaking piece. And like I was saying, so they do have a blood or a muddy, not bloodied, a muddied version that his suit is all covered in mud. And then it has a dirt base. I really like this bat signal face. And it's kind of, I don't think it's coming through on the camera. But this is actually like a frosted glass. So you can kind of see through it, um, which is a really cool effect. But yeah, overall, this is just such an unbelievable looking statue. All right, so that is going to do it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching them. It means the absolute world to me. Thank you again to Josh and Karina for hanging out with us. It was a fantastic time. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed all the footage. Hopefully, you enjoyed the comics and games footage as well. If you are ever in the Florence or Erlanger, Kentucky area, definitely check them out. Mike and Tess are wonderful people, and I cannot say enough about how amazing their store is. So a little plug for them. But once again, that is going to be it. Thank you guys so much for checking out these videos. And I will catch you guys later. See ya.